<sighs> oh, hello. When did you get here? I was working on my, my DVD collection in the computer. Hey, uh, hey, why don't I tell you about it real quick? Why, well, I got you here. Uh, my name is Butcher, and I'm with KillerReviews.com. And if you listen to our podcast, you'll know that I've gotten back into DVD collecting. And uh, last week, I uploaded, maybe this week, the video of uh, the recent purchases I've made with the bird in the background. Now, the problem is, is I'm with that bird. That's my, my roommate's bird. And I hear the bird all day long. So I don't notice it when it's fucking going crazy. So uh, this time around, I have I have killed the bird, and it's out back, you know, uh, by the oak tree, underground. So it won't be bothering us anymore. So I have recently. Well, I'm joking about the bird. Okay, you'll probably hear it in a few seconds, but if we hear it, we're gonna go get it. Because if we pick it up, it'll shut up. Alright, so. Since the last clip was podcast, I went on a mission to go through all my movies, all the DVDs and Blu-rays I own, and even video games too, actually. And uh, go through them and figure out what I want to keep, organize it, and see where I'm at. That way I can start buying some more stuff and filling in some gaps that i got to fill in. So, this is going to be a little lengthy video, but I think you'll enjoy it. If you're a DVD geek, Blu-ray guy, whatever, uh, or girl, I think you'll, you'll really dig it. I know I would. Because um, I'm going to really give you an in-depth look at my collection. So, I had, you know, from moving, I had probably... I mean, I don't know if you guys... Some, some, of, you, some of you know I was planning on opening up a, a used uh, store... Uh, that, that, and part of that store would sell movies. So I had a few thousand movies packed up in boxes. And when I moved here, I only took out what I really wanted to have in my collection within like the first few months of being here, so within the first year of being here. I knew I know maybe I'd want to watch those movies. So this week, I went through all my boxes in my I have a garage. I went through all the boxes, picked out all the movies, looked through every one of them and separated what I wanted to keep and what I wanted to get rid of. So I'll be showing you the ones I decided to keep. And they're all organized. I put up more shelving. I'll show you that in a little bit. And I have some notes here I just wanted to mention before, um, before I forget anything. Yeah, I want to talk about how I decided to, you know, refine the collection. And uh, I tell you, the hardest thing was, well, like, what, what I wanted to keep wasn't that hard. Uh, I, you know, I decided that, you know, years ago, I just wanted a huge collection. So I would just buy, if it was anything, I just would, I would just keep it. But nowadays, I really want to have a reason for owning it. You know, like, I'm not that big on, oh, I have this many movies. How many movies do you have? That's not really what I'm uh, at all about anymore. So I just wanted to keep, you know, I'll explain that when I go through them. You know, I just want to keep the ones that I really like, or the ones I haven't seen yet, pretty much, or the ones I need to have for certain reasons, in, you know, in, in the collection. Um, and it was really hard to figure out if I wanted to, like, just have a horror section or have a horror and science fiction slash fantasy, fantasy section. Um, I don't know. There's a fine line. Like, is Aliens a horror or science fiction? I guess it's science fiction, but... People a lot of times call it a horror movie. So there's a lot of gray area. So I just decided to do horror, science fiction, fantasy, and exploitation, grindhouse. Basically, like, what films we would feature on KillerReviews.com for the most part. And it was a tough decision to keep out action. I wanted to put movies in there, like Rambo or Commando and stuff. But I just figured, if I put those in there, then Die Hard needs to go in there. And the Die Hard collection shouldn't be in that in that collection, you know? Uh, so, it's horror, science fiction, fantasy, and you'll see a couple Grindhouse movies in there. I have, I have some Kung Fu movies. So, you'll notice a few ones where you go, huh, like, should that really be in there? But, you know, I mean, what, you know, what am I going to do? Like, you know, I can't sit there and worry about if, if, you know, American Ninja should be in the collection for fucking three hours. So, you'll see there's a few little weird ones in there. But for the most part, I think I nailed, I nailed the, the feel for the section. 
And uh, before we, we get going, I'm gonna pick up the camera and show you around, but before we do that, I wanna ask you guys to subscribe. Uh, we've been around for a long time on YouTube, but haven't really made that much of an effort to come out consistently with uh, decent videos. And I really want to focus on that. That's one, we have a really good podcast or, or a well listened to podcast. The website traffic's doing great. A lot of writers on there, a lot of you know, uh, users, you know, new, new users signing, new users signing up all the time. Uh, but we don't have a great YouTube presence, and that's what we're working on. So please subscribe. We have about five Killer View staff writers, staff members uploading videos, and if they're not, they're, they're going to soon. So we're gonna have videos throughout the week, no problem. And I'm gonna start releasing video series like my fi my favorite films of all time, uh, my my scariest movies of all time. I'm gonna start recording those fairly soon. So. Uh, let me pick the camera up here and I'll show you around a little bit. And my apartment's pretty clean. I think it's pretty safe to show you around. And I'm wearing Greg Mo Roberts, uh, the Canadian. He sent me, he bought me this years ago. This is, uh, I don't know, it's a hockey jersey, but he, um, he sent me this. He came to visit me for my, my uh, horror film festival, maybe even like four or five years ago at this point. So I love this shirt. All right, let's pick up the camera and we'll show you around a little bit. All right. All right, so let me show you what I decided to not put in the, by the way, I mean, this is my apartment. I'll probably do a video at some point. Um, yes, I have flowers. See how awesome I am? Flowers up there. But um, yeah, this is my apartment. I'll probably do like a, uh, that's an awesome cookie jar, by the way. I'll probably do a, a, an apartment video soon. I'm sure some of you people would like it. All right, so this is what I decided to not keep. I mean, this is, there is, you know, I have, um, I mean, this, there, is, there are so many movies in here. Um, and see, I mean, they're very, some are doubles, but for the most part, I just didn't want to keep them. So there's like a thousand there, probably, all together, that I'm probably going to sell on eBay. I don't know, and put the money towards something. So those are the ones I'm not keeping. These are my non-horror, and I, I was amazed that they all fit in here, but I was really picky what I wanted to keep for non-horror. You know, this is mostly comedy, comedy dramas, but I was really picky with what I, I, I'm keeping these days. And these are some of my video games. These are all about the newer stuff, not the retro. All right, so this is the hallway. If you guys follow me on Twitter, at Killer Reviews, I sent out some pictures of me building these shelves. So um, I installed these shelves this week. All right, so how this works is, we're on the hallway here, and this is the beginning, and it goes like this, and then like this, and then like this, and we go over here to this. That, 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 that. All right, so let me show you some of the, I mean, the whole hallway is, I've realized, this wasn't my intention, but it's kind of become like the Killer Reviews hallway. So let me show you some of the collectibles I have beforehand. And I'm, this is by no means like am I any, anywhere close to a collector. Besides DVDs, I mean, I see people with rooms of collectible stuff. I just have a couple little knickknacks I pick up here and there. Uh, so I'll show you those. I mean, this is my... I have some stuff over here, too. This is my bedroom. And this isn't really, like, prepped for a video, but just so you guys can see it. There's all my laser discs down there. And I have, um, you know, from Patrick from Saudi sent me the red rum bottle with the candy bar. The candy bar is somewhere. Here's the candy bar. And I don't keep it out because the kids will eat it. So I have that stuff. I have action figures. The Chucky dolls. Nintendo games. And there are lots of books and shit. But just to show you more too. Over here is the bobbleheads I got. So. And I did not. I, did, I, do, I do have to replace one from Toxic Shock. Uh, he bought me a bobblehead in, in the... The kids broke it, so I need to replace that. So, all right, so let's show you the movies. 
So I'm gonna go pretty slow because I know people, I know when I see these kinds of videos on YouTube, I know I like to like look at each movie. So I'm gonna go slow and just kinda maybe pick out a few as we go that I can talk to you about. Oh, this is the movie? We mentioned this on the last Killer's podcast. Or the last one. I don't know, like a couple podcasts ago. I had, I've never seen it, but I actually have it. That's interesting. So, uh, let's see. It's funny, movies like this, I, I have had this for years and talked to the filmmaker. See, this is why I keep some of these. Like, uh, that was really big when I was, well, it wasn't a big movie. It was just, to me, it was one of my earlier interviews I did years ago. So some things I keep around for sentimental reasons. Uh, you got aliens. Uh, a, a, a user, a listener sent these to me. Wish I could remember, dude. You know, if I don't remember who sent me stuff, I, just, I apologize, but I, I just, I don't, I'm not good at like writing stuff down. I remember, I mean, I remember, I, I know you guys. If you guys said, oh, I sent those to you, I, w- I would know who you are, obviously. But I do appreciate that. That was actually a really awesome package. I got, v- I got VHS tapes. And DVDs with that altered. So I realized I have I have four Area Horror movies that I didn't know I had. I thought I just had one. So that was a cool find. It's funny, my, my worst nightmare is you watching this and I'm just going <gasps> So I'm trying to just breathe like a fucking bear. So Area Horror remake, I like that a lot. Like movies like this, man, this was like this is when I was reviewing like 10 movies a week for Killer Reviews. A lot of old, old stuff in there. I still haven't seen this movie. This is a joke on the podcast. That's a joke on the show. It's like awful. I've never seen it still. And that came with some um, edible ice cream as a promo gift. And Mini Butch ate it one day. I was so pissed. I mean, not that it matters, but it was a fun collectible. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, August Underground Trilogy. I can tell that's a, mu- a must-have for horror fans. August Underground Trilogy. Uh, wow, my arms are going to get tired. I'm just noticing this. Uh, this is a cool set. That was awesome. Bad Dreams, Visiting Hours. I play that trailer like once a year on the podcast. Uh, see, see, this is what I'm talking about. Batman Begins, right? Like, should that be in here? I don't know. I just kind of... Should Avengers be in here? Who knows, you know? I just stopped worrying about it after like an hour. This is awesome. Battle Royale collection. That's probably one of the best things I was sent for for review. I was like, yeah, I'll take that. I'm surprised they sent you like that out. Um, Behind the Mask is awesome. Bite Me. Uh, Black Swan. I think it's kind of a horror movie. I would say it's a thriller. This movie is terrible, but... See, see, this is why I have certain movies in here. This movie is terrible, but it has... I think her name is Weinstead. Mm. Uh, I'm looking at the wrong spot. Mary Elizabeth Winstead. That's the only reason why I have that. I like her a lot. and That's the only reason I have that in there. Um, yeah, Blades. Uh, I don't know what that is. Body parts, that's awesome. The Burial Ground. Burial Ground, I like that a lot. If you haven't seen that, that's a, I like that movie a lot. It's a really old movie, but... Uh, the, the ending, like the last half hour, is crazy. That was I like that movie a lot. That was a really good one. Cabin Fever 1 and 2. I, now, I realize I don't have Candyman. See, this is the problem, people. When I did, when I did Rock and Shock a few years ago... In uh, Boston, I sold hundreds of movies. So, I mean, most of those were out of my collection. I just, I just bagged everything up. I went to Rock and Chalk and sold shit. So, I mean, there are so many movies that I don't have anymore that I thought I had. Like, I don't have the first Candyman. That's crazy. And these are like this, to, you know, as an end cap to keep up the, the row. Uh, Cannibal Ferox is awesome. I love that. Holocaust is good. I like having these classic... These classic... Uh, Raw, no, these two raw, gritty horror movies from the seventies. This was a really good one. If if you ever come across this, Cemetery Gates, lots of gore. Yeah, I think this has Reggie. This has Reggie. Yeah, there he is, Reggie from Phantasm series. 
I like that movie a lot. That was really fun. Gore and nudity. And the special, the, the special effects guys. I want to say it's the Nicotero duo. I want to say that, but I'm not going to sound like a dick and be wrong. So we'll say maybe. How about that? So that's Cemetery Gates. That's a good one. That's an oldie I reviewed a long time ago. All right, now we can, now I can put my arm down a little bit. That's awesome. See, this really shouldn't be in here. But I just don't want to put this in drama. I don't know. Like, this... I want this to be, like, a cult... Cult horror section. To me, that's a cult classic. So, and this is a really good disc, by the way. Great great commentary track on that. So, uh, Clash of the Titans. I love that movie. Um... Coffee. I talked about that in my last show. Coffee. I love that movie. I think I'm going to get all the cubes. I know most of them suck, but they're probably dirt cheap at, at like pawn shops and stuff. And I don't think many people have like them all. It'd be cool to own all those. The Dark Knight movies. This is a really good set. That's from a long time ago. I got this. This dude made this movie when he was a kid. Probably in his teen years. It's a decent movie. It did, it, it's a pretty good movie. But the this the look at the supplemental material. I mean, it is hours and hours of documentary footage when he was making the movie commentary tracks. Called Darkness, the Vampire version or Darkness, I guess. Uh, that's a really good disc. Uh, this movie is fucking terrible. This movie is. Is this what I'm thinking of? Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's not. Hmm. Yes, Mina Savari, yes. I shut that thing off. I only have it because I, I want to have all the zombie Day of the Dead movies, you know? Like, I might as well just, right here, Dawn, Two Dawn of the Deads. I don't have Day of the Dead? What the fuck? Ah, uh, oh, you know, the original. Ugh, that's awful. I don't have that. Dead and Breakfast is really fun. Dead Girl's awesome. Uh, Dead Zone, amazing. Uh, Never seen this one. You guys will be like, what? Never seen that, dude. Say what? Uh, Drag Me to Hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drive. Yes, once again, should that be in here? I don't know. To me, it, it, remind, it reminds me of... Uh, a, 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 you know, like a revenge movie from the 70s. I have a DVD and Blu-ray. Because sometimes it depends what, what, what room I'm in when I want to watch it. And it's not really worth. I have. You'll see that I have sometimes both the DVD and Blu-ray. It's just not worth it to me to like get rid of the DVD. I mean, yeah, I guess I, I guess I, I guess I would give it to a friend, but to just trade it in or something like that, like to get like a dollar for it, I just try to keep it. Uh, Doc, here we go. This is uh, this is a fun movie from William Hellfire. If you listen to the Alternative Cinema podcast, hopefully they'll come back and do more episodes, but. He's on the Alternative Cinema Podcast. This is a fun a fun movie. It's actually a pretty good movie. Believe it or not. It's actually pretty pretty well done. Uh, and William Hellfire is awesome, by the way, if you ever want to follow up with him. Uh, this is a good oldie. I, I, like, I like having that one. Uh, Evil Dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exterminator. That's a good release. These are cool. Fangoria released some short films. Fingoria Blood Drive is short short films. I like, I like that a lot. This is one of my first interviews, the director of Feed. He was a fucking really good guy. I still have the interview, actually. I never released it. I had the audio. I just listened to it like a couple weeks ago. I'll have to put that out on the podcast. It was like a lost interview. I love that movie. Fire in the Sky. We talked about that in the last episode of the podcast. I have that in Laserdisc, too. My favorite movie of all time for science fiction. Yep, yeah, right here. If you've seen Ted, this is this is it. I wish they would release a commentary track. That's really fucking lame. They don't do that. Flash. Oh. The Fly. All right, here's my Friday 13th. All right, let's talk about this guy. So we got the uncut. The first three on Blu-ray I got. And then I got two or one... You know, the rest are all DVDs, but I got two versions of Part 4. One has a commentary track, I think, with Adam Green. Yes, no, maybe so. Yeah, fan commentary with Adam Green. This is awesome. If the new Blu-ray set coming out, 
uh, doesn't have that commentary track by this because Adam Green is awesome. And the other guy on it too, Joe Lynch, was really awesome too on this. This is worth the commentary track alone. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to buy that Friday 13 set. You know, I had this big thing with Blu-rays. Like, I don't... I used to be such a snob when it came to, like, watching regular DVD once I saw Blu-ray. And I just, you know, I've sold hundreds of Blu-rays in the past three years. Once I've got sent to me. I just... I don't need to have them on Blu-ray. I'm more like the what's actually on the disc as far as supplement material goes. It's far more important to me than the actual image quality. So if some of these doesn't, you know, like let's say, I mean, the Friday Twins Blu-ray set would be nice, but I already own three of them, and do I really need Part Seven on Blu-ray when I already have this one, you know? But I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But if they release stuff that doesn't have old DVD, old, you know, like if the commentary track, if all this extra stuff isn't on the new one, I'm just not going to get it. You know, uh, you'll see. I have two versions of some, two versions of some of these movies because because they have different supplement material on it. Supplemental material. All right. So yeah, Freddy. You know that I actually like that movie. I liked that one. It could have been way better, obviously, but it was. I thought it was pretty good for what it was for today's standards, I guess. Frozen frogs, fringe. This is really awesome. If you can see that, I have to. I have to get all of those. The Wolfman, the Mummy, Dracula. That's a really awesome set. Oh, remind me to show you. I gotta show you my my uh, collectibles after. This is an awesome movie, very cheesy, hot girls in it, Guardian of the Realm. Alright, The Gate. I used to watch that all the time when I was a kid. The Halloweens. Yeah, I had no Blu-ray there, that's interesting. I got, I mean, I got Rob Zombies on Blu-ray, but... I don't know. It's tough double dipping because there's not really... I've watched these so many times. I don't know if I could just watch them anymore. <laughs> me, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'll get back into it someday. But this is I must have. If, in my opinion, if you're a horror fan, this is the Halloween Six producer cut. Um, producer cut special edition. I got this off eBay years ago, and it, it's it's the uh, directors, or I guess the producers. Uh, he, he he like he puts in un, he puts in footage that wasn't in the original movie. He edits in the extra footage, but it looks like shit. Um, it's not like color coded or it's not you know color time. Just like it's literally just thrown in there, so you you notice every single time when the new footage has been added. So it looks like complete shit the new footage, but you but you do get a different story. And uh, it's pretty cheap, probably. Who knows? I mean, maybe it's like worth money now. But yeah, that was. I like. I like Halloween Six. I think this gets a bad rap. I do like this movie. I don't know. They, they say like the less you know, the better about the Boogeyman. But I I, I appreciated what they were doing. I, I I actually do do like that movie. Um, some Hammer stuff here. You know, uh, Hatchet. Helter Skelter. Got a couple of Helter Skelter movies. Homesick. Brian Chopper and I reviewed that on the podcast. That was pretty good. One of the best movies of the past five years right here. Best uh, making of a movie I've seen in a while. This DVD is a Blu-ray is a must. Hours and hours of extra stuff on that. Commentary tracks, behind the scenes, makeup effects. That's amazing. House 1 and 2, I love those. Or actually, love, like 1. House of the Devil's awesome. How the Duck, yeah, that's in there. I'm not sure why. Human Centipede, blah, 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 blah. These are all kind of standards. Jaws, I'm missing Jaws 2. That's, that sucks. Last House on the Left, one, you know, the, first, the remake in the original. So... All right, so before I forget, uh, you know, we have these to go through, but let, before I forget, let me just show you some, some collectibles I have. Like I said, these, I mean, this is really nothing, but they're here. I'm going to show you. Uh, the basement, this is the, uh, a wrapped version I have still, and I have the unwrapped in my bedroom. This is the Lunchbox Brain Chomper. 
got me. This is on a pod. I actually opened this up on a podcast and almost cried. Uh, that's I like. That's really special to me. Um, these 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 are old. These aren't really worth anything. Those are just I just pick them up. If I, you know, like thrift stores, whatever. A Christmas Story, an open box set, which probably is worth nothing. A Tron toy, Maniac. Oh, this is pretty cool. I've had this for so many years. In Logan Run VHS, this is a Maniac tin daily. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't even know. I should look into that one day like when it was released and stuff. And I have some collectibles in the wall. Check from Hostel. Uh, Five Across the Eyes. This is one of our early um, covers. This is a European cover. And we weren't quoted on the US release, but this is the DVD print for Five Across the Eyes for the UK. And then here's one. I think this is my first one. Um, actually, you can see it better here. I have DVDs up here. This is one of the early, you know, I think this was the first one. So that's Silk. It's unopened. I called everybody I knew when I saw that. That was a real big deal to me. Yeah, so we have uh, Seltrosica all signed by Toe Tag. Vegan Zombies dude sent me that one. That was a fun movie. And we're on the back of this one too. Rot. Right there. So, yeah, I'd like to get on more of these. Oh, here, this is um, this is a pretty cool set. This was actually, Brain Chopper found this in a thrift store, and this is out of print. But Xander Kane actually bought th this version, this exact same thing opened off the Killer Review store when it was open, like for like forty bucks, I think. And it really was worth that. I don't know what it's worth now, but this is an, an unopened version. But this is they, they didn't print many of this at all. Many of this these at all. And um, I don't know. I think I think it was like worth like a hundred bucks at one point, new. But I'm never gonna sell. I just think that's awesome to have something rare like that and to find it unopened at a pawn shop. That's crazy. But this is a rare release of that. That's awesome. So uh, I got this stuff. This is I, uh, I believe Kiss the Baby sent me this. Dark Deadite sent me that. If I'm fucking wrong, I suck so much. And then the director of live feed. Yeah, Ryan. That's Ryan Nicholson. I love that guy. And uh, over here we have a shining poster. I have some more uh, stuff I haven't put out yet. Adam Green Hatchet. Uh, that guy is just awesome. And then this is my favorite thing I own. Uh, besides my kids. <laughs> uh, Halloween remake signed by all three of the girls. Christina Kleeb, who's amazing. I was supposed to do her website. It's really cool. And then um, Daniel Harris and I forget the other girl. Oh, she's on the poster, probably. Oh, the fuck's her name? Tyler, Tyler Scout Thompson, something like that. Uh, yeah, that's freaking awesome. I love that. At some point, I'll frame it. Uh, I should just show you my favorite one, but, well, besides the Halloween. No, I can't, I don't know. It's uh, Misty Monday, sitting on a gravestone. All right, let's get back to my DVD collection. Uh, let's see. I'll just go through these here. All the masks. Well, I have a t shitload of masks of horror. What's really annoying is they changed the label on the side. And I don't know if it's like per season. I don't think it is per season. But it's really annoying when you're a collector and they do this shit. I don't know. I'm sure people out there have that same feeling. And it's fucking so annoying, you know? Uh, let's see. Midnight. All the midnight movies I got. I know I should show you those. Sorry, I'm just I'm looking at my 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 time code. It looks like it skipped something, like it restarted the video. But we'll have to just keep going and hope it hope it worked out. <sighs> let's see. Monster Squad. Murder set pieces. The director's cut. 
and edited version. That movie is fucking crazy. And here's another Toe Tag murder collection. Um, yeah, murder set pieces. Actually, Fred Vogel's in that real quick. But that movie is crazy, man. Like, tons of blood. It's really gross. Um, I got both versions of that. Like, both, both versions. Two copies of Mystery Island for some reason. Yeah, I got, um, I went crazy and started collecting all these old monster movies. Like the Ray Harryhausen. I wanted to collect all the Ray Harryhausen movies. I think it was like one point last year. So you'll see, I do have a lot of his movies in here. Um, Nightmare on Elm Streets. I don't have part one. I think Brain Chomper borrowed some movies. Do Nuns of Big Guns. That was awesome. I love Open Water. I know some people some people hate this movie. I don't know. I like that movie a lot. Prime Activity. I need to buy... I think Brain Chomper has part three. But I need to buy part four. Even though it sucked. Assholes. I need to buy it to finish my collection. Paranormal Entity. This is a pretty good one, actually. Obviously, rip off of Paranormal Activity. But some people like that that movie better. Pet Cemetery, one of my favorite horror movies of all time. Phantasm, I'm missing... I have part two on a collector set. Actually, over here. I don't know if you guys saw that. This is a pretty good set. And that's Phantasm 2. And I wanted to put it under Phantasm 2. But I think I'm going to buy the Phantasm 2 Blu-ray. Tons of Piranha movies. Poltergeist. I need Poltergeist 1 on Blu-ray. That's what I need right there. It's Pork Chop 1 and 2. Some mad respect for the indie community. Pork Chop 1 and 2. Uh, Prometheus with 3D. Pulse. This movie is the worst movie in my collection, probably. But Kristen Bell is in it. A very young Kristen Bell. So we keep it. Out of respect for the gorgeous, gorgeous girl, Kristen Bell. Redson Tower. This is out of print. Probably worth quite a bit of money now, actually. I fucking... This movie is badass. Man, I love that movie. Red Sun Tower. I'm lucky I own it. Um, the Reef was awesome. The Ring 1 and 2. Oh, these are really cool. I'm hoping to collect more of these. These are awesome. Yeah, fucking Shout Factory, man. I love their stuff. I, I love their stuff. Good commentary tracks on those, too. Sandman. Love that movie. Give that big, big mad props when that came out. All the saws, all the saws. I like the saw movies for the most part. All the screams. This movie I didn't like very much, but the the the, the twisted sister girls, whatever that you know, the girls from uh, American Mary are making the new one. So I thought I'd keep it. More toe tag. More toe tag. Hey, it's toe tag pictures. Shock. This is a good set. From Alternative Cinema. That's a good set. I forget what's on it. Uh, Shocker. Actually, I guess I have two copies of Shocker. One's in another set. Uh, bump, 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 bump. Sledgehammer. That's an oldie. <laughs> Snakes on a Plane. Um, all the Smallvilles. Yeah. Sketchville, should that be in there? It's science fiction. Uh, Starman. Two of these. One of these, I think, is the full frame. There's a difference, but one is one is very collectible. One of those versions is very hard to find. I think it was like, I think it was like 40, 50 bucks on Amazon used. One of those is the collector item. Street Trash, Sucker Punch. I'm a big Superman fan, so let's see. I got Superman the movie, one, two, the Donner Cut. So I got two versions of Superman. Superman 2 the, on the Blu-ray, Superman 3, which I thought was terrible. Superman Doomsday, Superman Returns. Tamara, well, that was an oldie, if you guys remember that one. All the Terminators. The Chainsaw. Now, here's something funny, guys. The Chainsaw Collection. I can't believe I had this many Chainsaw movies. I got this version of Chainsaw. And now, it makes me want to just collect every version of Chainsaw. Because I've already got a lot of them. I mean, not just the first movie. I just have a lot of Chainsaw movies. 
So Chainsaw Special Edition, then the Chainsaw Blu-ray, two versions of Part 2, which this version is much better, has commentary tracks, Leatherface, uncut, ooh, two versions of Part 3 with Vico, Vico Moltensen from Lord of the Rings. This movie is fucking terrible. Got that one. I love this movie. I like that movie a lot. Little Jessica Biel stomach action. Tons of extras on that bad boy. Then I got the Blu-ray of it. And then I got this Chainsaw movie. And last but not least, this Chainsaw movie. Texas Chainsaw. With another chick with a gorgeous stomach. So, yeah, I have... Look at my... If you see the stretch, that, oh, that's all Chainsaw. So now I want to, like, st buy the different versions that I'm missing. Just to have every fucking release of that. I had no idea I had that many Chainsaw movies. This is a good one. Bloop. Oh, I forgot to show you Greg Bo Roberts. His favorite movie of all time is in here. Actually, I forgot to show you guys. This is Greg Bo Roberts' favorite movie of all time. Yep. He says it's the best movie ever made. Right there, Monster Brawl. So, hi, Greg Bo Roberts. I know you love your Monster Brawl. <laughs> Tommy Knockers. That's a pretty cool, cool one. Uh, Toolbox Murders. I hated this version of it. But, whatever. Uh, Total Recall. Torso. Triangle. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I'm, I'm not watching the screen. And this I have because... Check this out, kiddos. You know who those two girls are? Any guesses? Emily Browning. And what the fuck is her name? I think it's a girl from Hunger Games. Uh, and she doesn't say on the back of the box. Shit. Well, and anyway, Emily Browning is in that. I thought that was the girl from Hunger Games. Because I saw a trailer for this the other day. But on the back of the box, it doesn't have her name. Which, this, which I, I can't believe it's slipping slip my mind right now. But Emily Browning, anything she's in, I keep. So that's another one I have because of a cute girl in it. Um, VHS, yeah, yeah. Videodrome. Awesome. This one's a great people. Which one, people? This is great. If, you collect, if you're a collector, um, this has a shitload of extra content on it. Um, this is great. This is a really good find. Awesome movie. Awesome commentary track. This version, on the other hand, doesn't have anything on it. Ooh, special features. A scene selection? <gasps> Interactive menus? You've got to be fine. Oh, this is amazing. Flame ass shit. I hate when they do that. This movie, well, the only reason I have this movie is because of Camille. Because I like her a lot. Wicker Man, love the Wicker Man. Uh, wrong Turn movies. I like these movies. And then X Men. I didn't really want to put these in here, but whatever. This is a movie I have not seen yet. But I saw this when I was putting my collection together. That looks really fun. I don't know, I just saw that when I was putting my collection together. I was like, holy shit, I should watch that. Yeah, Zombie Holocaust is awesome. All right, so the rest of this uh, over here is just, uh, here's a bunch of, like, uh, I don't even know what these flicks are called. Like, they're like sex flicks, but I don't, think, I don't think there's actual intercourse. So these are all from Impulse Pictures. I get these sent to me. And I'm missing one of them, which is so annoying. Seven. Yeah, it's not annoying. So yeah, you know, Alternative Cinema sends me a bunch of this stuff. This one gave me plenty, plenty of boners in my time. Yeah. And then we have, um, like, like, uh, my documentaries. I love documentaries. Uh, let's show you some horror ones. That, that is amazing. If you don't own this, this is amazing. 25 Years of Terror. His name is, his name is Jason. The movie sucks, in my opinion, but the, the extra interviews in the in the uh, on disc two are amazing more brains that's a great documentary on return of the living dead ringers this movie's okay talks about lord of the rings fans 
This is amazing. Uh, people ask me sometimes where on the podcast I get the old trailers from, the audio trailers. This DVD set has about 300 audio trailers in MP3 format. You can literally copy the whole disc over to your hard drive and have 300 horror movie trailers. That's Shock Festival. Uh, oh, you guys know this one. Graphic Picture Horror. That was awesome. Going to Pieces. That's pretty cool, actually. I haven't seen this in a while. Going to Pieces. Corman's World, we reviewed on the podcast. That was okay. If you don't, if you don't know anything about Roger Cor- Corman movies, then this is probably worth checking out. But if you're familiar, then you probably don't need to. And this is awesome. You can find this dirt cheap in, in stores, like thrift stores, uh, used DVD stores. This is always dirt cheap, and this is really, really good. And then I just have um, a bunch of concert. These are all concert movies. A lot of Dream Theater stuff. Six Feet Under. And some, you know, cartoons. But uh, let me go put the camera back down. We'll wrap up a little bit. Here's my spider, people. Tarantula. Yeah, it's like body span is like six inches. I'm going to see if I can do this relatively quickly without... Oh, sweet. That went in pretty good. Oh, I poured a drink. I didn't even take a sip from it. Well, folks, that was rather long. But, um... I don't know. Like, like that's, that'll be my, my definitive collection DVD for... My, my collection video for a while. So maybe we'll do one next year. And, uh, like I said, you know, I had so many more movies. I had, like, all the Jaws movies. A lot of the Children of the Corn. Like, I know Henry was a movie that... Portrait of a Serial Killer that I sold at the last Rock and Shock. So my collection's taken a major beating. But, uh... I'm really happy with what I have left. And, I, you know, like, like, I don't have any Hellraiser. Like, I don't have a fucking Hellraiser. You know, so there's, like, lots of holes in there that I need to fill up. But I like what I have. I, that's what I'm really comfortable looking at the collection and knowing I handpicked, you know, those to save out of all the ones I had. So, you because, know, like, my collection was larger before, but I, there was, like, like shit in there that could just be weeded out, you know? And uh, I'm really excited to move forward and you know fill in that's my next step is to uh when i when i when i move forward with collecting to fill in like the hellraiser series and and, you know on the podcast we're talking about if if you double dip you know or if you buy like children of the corn fucking part seven even though it sucks just to have them all some people don't do that but i i want to do that like i want to have all the chucky movies i want to have all the hellraisers all the phantasms um, I wouldn't spend a ton of money on it, but you can get them pretty cheap. So I, I think it's worth, like, I might, I might spend 50 bucks on getting all the Hellraiser movies, you know, because you can get a whole bunch in one set, I know. So that's worth it to me to, to, fit, to fill all those series in. But I guess that's it. Uh, listen to the Killaroos podcast. We do uh, every show, probably do like three shows a month at this point. And go to killaroos.com and uh, please subscribe to this channel and you're going to get lots of cool updates I, I guarantee you that and if you want to follow me on twitter i do a lot of uh a more um personal updates on there like pictures of when i buy stuff and um candid i guess you could say not personal candid so i'm at killer reviews on twitter all right and uh thanks for watching i really do appreciate it and uh, have a great day